when is the time to buy a new router so today I'm gonna to share with you seven signs that you should look out for that perhaps the time has come to check out the old replace it with the new okay let's do this <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Leron Sega, where I talk about Wi-Fi and gadgets and tech tips and phones and how to. If you're into that kind of stuff, hit that subscribe button below and let's get on to today's show. We upgrade our phones every two or three years. We upgrade our laptops, our computers around the four year mark. But when it comes to the router, we tend to use it until they die. And that could be the reason why your Wi-Fi and your internet speed are really just terrible and no matter what you do, the speed just keeps getting slower and slower. So let's go through the seven signs that I look for when it's time to upgrade that router. Okay, first one, the obvious. It's damaged, physically damaged. Routers are typically meant to withstand some knocks and bumps, some drops. You know, we've all dropped our router from the shelf once or twice, it happens. Those are just one of those things, but the router is perfectly okay. However, when I see a router that's got physically broken, a physical gash, this plastic is broken, I know that must have been some really hard impact. And I'm wondering what it's doing to the internal circuit boards. Sign number two, no internet or dropped connections. If your router isn't able to maintain a steady connection to the internet and your devices are constantly dropping off the network, then something is seriously wrong. I mean, it's literally the router's job. You can't even do that. Then that must be a sign for a good old update. Sign number three, it's just old technology. The common standard today is Wi-Fi 5 and the new routers even have Wi-Fi 6. If your router only has Wi-Fi 4, well, it's living on borrowed time. If your router can only handle 2.4 gigahertz and doesn't have 5 gigahertz at all, you're going to see a massive improvement when you replace it with a shiny new router. You should also look for a tri-band router, which means you get one 2.4 gigahertz and two 5 gigahertz bands, and the connectivity difference is going to be insane. Sign number four that it's time to upgrade. It's missing features. Routers for the homes have changed dramatically since they were first introduced. As the router is literally the hub of the network, manufacturers are adding more and more features to your router than just to providing Wi-Fi and LAN connectivity. It's very common to see routers with USB ports, which can be used for things like centralized storage and printing and powering up other devices. I have an entire whole video just on these usage. I will link it in the description. You can check it out. Routers also tend to have multiple antennas so that we can shape the Wi-Fi signal to get better coverage. Again, I have an entire dedicated video just for that and that will also be linked below. So if your router doesn't have USB, has only got one antenna or two antennas, well, again, it's another indicator that you're sitting with all technology and perhaps it's time to upgrade. Sign number five, the speed. If you're finding that your internet speed is just not as fast as it used to be, then this could be an indicator that your router isn't able to handle all that additional network traffic that you've added onto your network over the years. When routers were first built for the home, the manufacturers will build them to accommodate essentially laptops and desktops. But all this has changed. These days, we've added to those an array of phones, tablets, smart TVs, smart home tech, cameras, doorbells, smart plug, gaming station. So there is so much more going on our home network than ever before. So newer routers have something called multiple user, multiple input, multiple output. Essentially, so you can handle more devices on your networks at once. A MIMO device or MIMO router gets higher performance by aggressively transmitting and receiving data across your entire Wi-Fi link. New routers also have something called beaming technology. This is the tech that essentially focuses the wireless signal at the device receiving the Wi-Fi instead of having the signal spread all around the room in all directions. That is just a waste of your Wi-Fi signal and a waste of energy. Beaming tech is especially important for those phones and tablets that are constantly moving around the home and need that wonderful great signals at all times. So if your router doesn't have MAMO and doesn't have beaming tech, well, another sign that it's time to upgrade. Sign number six, it's the reach. 
Certain types of gadgets don't move, like our PlayStations or our smart TVs. They're pretty much bound to their location. So a telltale sign that something is up with your Wi-Fi router is when those devices' signal starts to deteriorate. They used to get a nice fast connection and now the same devices at the same location is getting a weaker and weaker signal and therefore a slower internet connection. So if your router hasn't moved, something else is up deteriorating that signal and then perhaps another indicator that your router is on its way out. Tip number seven that it's time to upgrade your router is support. Updating our routers is a must. This is how we get the latest bug fix, the latest security patches. So if you notice that the last time your firmware upgrade was updated was years ago, head over to the manufacturer's website to look for the latest update. A big red flag if you see that your router is no longer supported or has been discontinued. Wow, it's absolutely definitely time for a new model. And bonus tip time, if you're going to get a new router, do not throw away your existing router. You can in fact repurpose that router to become a range extender. You can also repurpose that router to add more ports on your existing LAN so that you can plug even more devices into it and get that amazing network going. Let me know if you want to see a whole video on how to do that. Let me know that in the comments below. And if you want to see more Wi-Fi tips and tricks, check out these videos down here. Hit the head below to subscribe if this is your first time here. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it and I'll see you in those videos. Let's go.